It is the 31st century. Ulysses killed the giant Cyclops when he rescued the children and his son Telemachus. But the ancient gods of Olympus are angry and threaten a terrible revenge. Mortals, you defy the gods? I sentence you to travel among unknown stars. Until you find the kingdom of Hades, your bodies will stay as lifeless as stones. Ulysses, no one else can do the things you do. Ulysses, all is fighting all the evil forces, bringing peace and justice to all. Gold, silver, platinum detected. Caution, this material contains a high proportion of energy catalyst. Imperative, do not approach the immediate area of drilling. Extreme caution, extreme caution. Children, did you hear what Shirka said? Yes, Father. <laughs> I feel so light. <laughs> this way. Uh, let's go over here. No, no, your turn. Come on. Over here. Meow. <laughs> It's not fair. I'll show you how I can jump. Ah, You're the cat. No, it's you. Cat. <laughs> Are you all right? No, no. No, 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 We will soon kill Telemachus. Then at last, Penelope will have to choose a new husband from among us. <laughs> and we will divide up the inheritance of Telemachus. Let's drink to our success. Our success. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'll be the lucky one. She'll choose. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I've given Penelope the richest gifts. She'll not choose either of you. She'll choose me. No, no, me. And why not me? Me. Talking nonsense. I am richer than you, and I, the master of all the goats of Greece, will marry Penelope. Hmm. <laughs> 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 
Have patience, Penelope. Ulysses will not be much longer. His return will soon come. My poor Eurycle, I'm not losing patience. They are. If only Telemachus were here with me, he went to look for Ulysses. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Penelope. Ah, Penelope! Oh, Penelope. Oh. Oh. Penelope, my queen, tonight you seem especially beautiful. That veil softens your sweet face. Ah, oh, so much beauty. So much beauty. Why do we still wait? Be my bride, lovely lady. Enough, Eurymachus. You should all be ashamed. Have you lost all pride? Hmm. Every day you come here and eat at my table. Isn't that enough for you? Have you got to insult me as well? You behave as if you were already masters of this palace. Have you no shame? But Penelope, my queen, you must make your choice. You have to decide which one of us will be your new husband. We only want to please you. Choose your new husband. We won't go away until Ithaca has a new king. You understand, Penelope? I raise my glass to Penelope, the wisest of all women. Stop! Oh? Huh? Ulysses is my husband, and I'm sure he will soon return. I will never be a wife to any of you. Oh. Oh. Let me go! Let me go! Let me go! Oh. Telemachus. Oh, it's Telemachus. Telemachus. Oh, oh, oh. My darling Telemachus. That's very strange. You look like my mother, but you're not her. Oh, you are not my mother, and I am not your son. Look how I am dressed. These aren't your son's clothes. What's happened to you, Telemachus? Let him go. What is this boy saying? Has your son gone mad? Penelope! You there, take him away! Wait! You must not harm him! Oh, wise Penelope, your wish is my command. But if only you... If only I would what? If only you would choose your new husband from among us! But I don't wish to. Then, guards, take him away! From now on, this boy will be my slave. Wait! Let him go, I consent. This bow belonged to my beloved husband. Whoever is able to draw back the bow and shoot an arrow through twelve crossed axes, not touching any of them, will be Ulysses' successor and King of Ithaca. Oh! Splendid! We'll hold the trials tomorrow, but in the meantime, I'll keep Telemachus. Good night, Penelope. Penelope, why on earth did you make such a promise? Your clay, only one man in all the kingdom of Ithaca is able to bend that bow, and that man is my true husband. That's true. No one but Ulysses is strong enough. No one has been able to equal what he has done, Penelope. And even now, I'm very sure that... Ulysses is still the only man who can do it. None of my suitors has a chance. I know it. Oh, I hope you're right. Where is her Ulysses? And my own mother, what's happening to her far away in the 31st century? Come on! Hurry! Quick! Telemachus! 
Lucas has escaped. Quick! This way! Faster! Don't let him get away! Over here! Follow me! This way! <laughs> Come on, here I am! Ooh, oh! <laughs> this way, this way! Hey, over here! a good run. <laughs> Antinous! Which one of you is the real Telemachus? Well, you guess. Ha! Ah, if you refuse to tell me, you must both die. I cannot allow the heir to the throne of Ithaca to live. For one of you, it's too bad, but I have no choice. It will not be easy to kill us. Ha 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 Rid me of these two rivals. Spoil sport, anyway. Watch out! Oh! 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 Ah! I never saw such a strong old man. A curious kind of beggar. strong. You seem like some god who's come to save us. <gasps> Zeus, you make me think I'm seeing double. You're so very much alike. Oh, father! Huh? Oh, Telemachus. Here I am, your father. I am the oh. god. Your own father who has been away from you all these years. I've missed you, father. I thought of you all the time. Ever since you left Troy, my mother Penelope has awaited your return. Her would-be husbands filled the palace and I hated them all. So I went off to look for you, to Sparta, to Pelus, to Lacedaemon. I went everywhere. When I came back, all 108 suitors wanted to kill me. So, to stop them, my mother had to give in. Now she has to choose to marry one of them. Shh. Who are those people? Telemachus. <laughs> oh, father! You mean no, no! Thank you, little Yumi. And so you think that the gods, in their madness, inflicted the same fate on both of us. How strange. Five thousand years lie between us, but our stories seem to be linked. If you lose the right to your kingdom, I will never be able to go back to the 31st century. I will be lost in time forever. And my own son, Telemachus, will never see the earth or his mother again. Father, there isn't much time. Tomorrow they hold the trials, the bow and arrow. Whoever wins will be the king of Ithaca. What can I do? There are so many rivals. Over a hundred, you say, Telemachus? And only one of me. With this damned wound, I couldn't even draw the bow. Then we all have to help. Yes, good idea. <laughs> Father? 
Yes. I think I understand your plan. It's a good one. Do you think it will work? Our faithful swineherd, Emmaus, lives here in that house. He will help us get into the palace tomorrow in disguise. We will not be noticed. Our two sons can go ahead and be our lookouts. We'll get the better of all those suitors yet. Oh, great Zeus, I'm exhausted. All these meals and all this work for that miserable lot. Zeus, let this be the last time that they eat at our table. Let Ulysses return and clear out this crowd. Eurycle! Eurycle! Thunder of Zeus, Telemachus? Oh! Ulysses will never return. I'm convinced of it. Perhaps. I know what all this is leading to. Go ahead, little Telemachus. But you mustn't say a word to my mother, please. I don't want her unnecessarily upset. Do you understand? Yes, of course I understand, Telemachus. The main thing is to take away all the swords from the suitors. That is the plan our fathers gave us. Yes. Out of my sight, the Archimedes, you evil old man. Uh, and in us, don't you know? Kings must not speak as they please, but have to say what is true. You're only able to see what is in front of your nose, poor blind fools. Fools, the hour of Ulysses' return is close. Every one of you will be punished. Go! Oh! Oh, well, you miss. And you, beggar man, what are you staring at? Here! Stop! Today you will lift your hand against no one, be he king or beggar. You are all equal in this trial of strength. Follow me into the great hall. <laughs> Go on, put more into it. Not one of them can do it. I'll give a banquet for all the shooters. <sighs> Since nobody has won, I suggest a pause. We'll go on with the contest tomorrow. No, not yet. I have not tried. You again, beggar man. Do you think we can allow a beggar to beat us? Let him try. I said whether he be king or beggar, anyone has a right to try. Give him the bow. Let's see if he's Ulysses ah, equal. Ah, here, take it. Penelope's right. If we cannot draw this bow, how could you ever do it? Anyway, this is not a good day for an important trial. It is the feast day of Apollo. We should be enjoying it. Well said, Antinous. Besides, I don't think much of this test. No one is able to do it. Ah. Ah.
It's not him. I don't recognize my husband. Huh? You're right. I am not your Ulysses. Oh. But I came here to help your Ulysses, Penelope. He is here, close behind me. Ulysses, my Ulysses. Animals, you will pay for making my Penelope suffer so. This man is merely an imposter. To arms, my friends. Yes, Swords, swords. Don't bother looking. You ought to take more care of your weapons. They were in a muddle, so now they're all in the weapons room. And look, just to be sure, I won't lose the key. Oh, look. Nom, 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 nom. Mm. Uh. If you stain your palace with a drop of their blood, your return would be spoiled. Let me take care of this. Ah. A god. He's a yes. god. Yes. 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 Kneel before yes. us. Yes. Kneel. Yes. People of Ithaca, no more bloodshed. Stop this useless fighting. Ulysses and Penelope are together again. Better you should be feasting. Your king has come back. Go back to your homes and let Ulysses return to his. Now we can go forward to our own times. Our companions are waiting for us there. Telemachus, Yumi, no, no, keep away from the area of the drilling. Come back on board. 